sorry I have made two mistakes in this uh, in this one uh, the first one is this one should be a class because this one is a class it's not an ID uh, here where is it here this one is a class not a uh, an ID too we should put hash here so after that one other mistakes is to I should put pixel here it really didn't work if you didn't put pixel here so if I save it and go to the browser and refresh it you will see that it's moving already so after that I decided to didn't don't write the CSS code cause it's really boring for me and I guess it's for you I just copy and paste it and explain it a few and we will dive in its fun part which is JavaScript and we will write a line of code by ourselves and explain it what we write so I just copy and paste them here and here I start explaining from the lines so here I said something to the carbon carbon is uh, that red car you saw in the preview so I said this position to absolute to be derivable to anywhere to don't push anything uh, everywhere when it's change position its margin from the top will be 460 pixel and our, its margin from the left will be 990 pixel minus 90 pixel so minus 90 pixel make the red car came here about here so after that we, uh, we did the same for the car too which is the uh, yellow car and I said a way to it you saw that the red car was bigger than the and the yellow car was bigger than the red one so I said a way to it as uh, 30 pixels 30 hundred pixels which make it look the same with the red one after that I said the position to it uh, like this one its position absolute and its margin from the top is going to be uh, 130 pixels so after that uh, I select the H1 H1 is this one this one is H1 H1 uh, its margin from the left 6400 pixel and its phone size 40 pixel and I select the timer the timer is that one that I told you about to make it whenever it reach to zero will make the car to push a few to back so I set this margin from the left to 640 pixel and its phone size to 30 pixel and its color to the red and I select the input type you know what the input type is we only have one input type in our web page so I set this margin from the left to this one and its height uh, uh, 30 pixel and its full size to 28 pixel after that I select the button I said I set the position absolute to it and as padding if you don't know padding uh, around the text but not out of it around the text and before the border is called padding so its padding is 9 pixel and 90 9 pixel and its margin from the top is uh, minus 1 pixel and its background color is green so I said a phone weight to it. If you don't know phone weight, phone weight um, makes things make things to look a few bolder. So I said it's to bolder. So here is a few important. Not a few important is really important. Whenever the car starts, whenever you click on the play button, it's going to start the car for as uh, how the car came. So I said it's display to inline to be display in inline because uh, images are I guess it's a uh, block yeah it's block images are block so I said this keyframes here if you don't know keyframes keyframes are used to uh, create animation and each keyframe key has a name which I put its name to a start car here and I'm going to uh, it's going to occur from the minus zero pixel minus uh, minus 1500 pixel 500 pixel uh, to to uh, margin left to 90 pixel and it's make uh, the car to came here around here I don't know why I said it to twice so after that uh, I do the same oh, no sorry and keyframes need to be called in the element that you want to add something so here I 
call the animation this animation so I say animation name which is the star car and I put it here uh, and uh, every animation duration needs a time which in this time is uh, three pixel three seconds this animation took three seconds to occur after that animation direction which declare the direction of animation after uh, I said to normal and animation iteration count animation iteration count make things to uh, how many times an animation occurs so I said it to answer uh, I did the same for the car too and you saw that both are start the same the same and uh, they are coming the same way uh, start the same way so I say display inline and call an animation for it which is it's an animation is car a star car shoe and from margin left one z minus 410 pixel to uh, zero pixel zero pixel makes the yellow car came around here so I call that in uh, this keyframe here so I say animation name a star car and animation duration three pixels at uh, three pixels at seconds and animation direction which declare the direction of animation and animation iteration count that I told you about so here uh, it's important and it makes uh, our games a few completed so yellow car steps yellow car uh, you saw that uh, the yellow car was here and this is going to declare the steps of uh, the yellow car to be a move so uh, I set the keyframe to it with this keyframe I call it yellow car steps and it's going to occur from the zero margin uh, zero percentage and zero percentage is going to be in the position of margin left zero at the seven uh, percentage is going to be at the position of uh, 100 pix uh, pixel and so on till uh, 70 hundred pixel so now I'm going to call this uh, keyframe here I say yellow car steps and this is going to uh, call and uh, take the animation name and animation duration how how long it should take is it takes 74 seconds and also it, this animation animation delay declare after how many seconds or minutes an animation should occur I put it to two seconds there is a reason that I said it so I, I will explain it so I save it and go to the browser our browser is looking like this and you see it's moving uh, but it shouldn't move for now so here I should it I should it put uh, put an ID to it so I say ID lines uh, we will include in this class using JavaScript so I the lines and I will add the that one uh, uh, that class using JavaScript and I have made it an, another mistakes here which was this one which was not really so important I will make uh, I will notice it if I just see it but uh, I didn't set any start to this pattern sorry for that so now we are going to write as JavaScript which is really fun follow me in if you want type code in your computer and test 